We have a document here that have a div wrapping an image of the paragraph. And today I will learn how to use a property, which is float, that will help us to positioning and formatting content. For example, I want to just align this image at the left of this paragraph. Before we do that, I'm sure that most of you are just thinking why we should learn float. We have no Flexbox module. We have grid systems. Why we should learn how to use float? To be honest, float is not meant to be used as a layout property because it is just a hacky way to lay out elements by using it. In general, if you are dealing with a situation like that, you have an image and a paragraph and you want to just keep it simple, you can use a float property. So this is why learning a CSS property can be sometimes useful. So depending on the use case you are dealing with. Okay, enough of talking. Let's just go. Let's just use the image selector from CSS. So we'll use image, then use float and left. You see here, the element is just floating at the left of the paragraph. And if you want to float it to the right, we'll use right value. When you are using right or left, you are just floating the element to the left of its container. So the container of image is the div. We are just loading the element to the left of the div. We have also another value, which is none, which is a load element to float. Okay, let's just return the left value. But there is a problem here that you don't see it. And to see the problem, I will use a border for the container div, which will wrap all of the elements, border to pixel solid red. Let's just define the problem. I'm using this border to pixel solid red on the div container. This image is not fitting the div. We should have a border which will wrap everything. But why are we having this problem? Because the image height is larger than the paragraph height. And to deal with this kind of problem, you have two solutions. So the first one is by using the property overflow. Auto. So just consider that as a clear fix. Or for example, you can just take this overflow auto and let's just create a new class selector. We'll go for clear fix, add this overflow auto, and let's just add this class within the div class and as a value clear fix, save that. So this is the first solution. The solution is used when an element is taller than its container and if it's floated and it will overflow outside of the container. Okay, let's just define a comment here. First solution, I'll comment that and create the second solution, second solution. And for the second solution, we'll create another selector clear fix, which will include a clear property that specify what element can float beside the cleared element and on which side. For that, add the class clear fix, then the content property, add an empty content, then I'll use the display, then I'll use the display table, plus clear property and I will clear both sides left and the right. Save that. Now I'll not have this problem. Even if I duplicate or I copy this graphic or copy this div and save it again, I will not have any problem. Once I will have the problem, I'll just add this class graphic and it will control this kind of problems. This is not the cleanest way to write CSS and we are just creating here a hacky CSS in order to control a problem. If you want a layout element, avoid using float in complex layout in general. And I just create some lessons about Flexbox module and how to use that in order to create layouts.